Hey guys, a new cards balance patch has just been announced. On the 10th of May, 10 cards will be changed. And which cards will be changed and how this might impact the matter, we will analyze in this video. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. All right, guys, here we go. Starting with the probably most relevant change um, out of the whole set. Second California will be changed and will be hardly nerfed, I guess. Um, I think a lot of you will be really happy about this because as we found out in our free to play speedrun, this card is pretty broken in the lower ranks because you don't have a lot of hard removal that you have later in the game, like Lion for a Day, Annihilation, that is super good to deal with second California. So you just have your standard cards to deal with this or have to trade units into this. And if you can manage to buff it with unity or strength, uh, it's completely impossible for your opponent to get rid of this. So this change, I think a lot of you will like it. Um, Second California just got one less attack now, but also the text change to combat damage dealt to this unit is reduced to one. So it dies to from the people, for example, now or to hammer. So orders will deal the full set of damage and only combat damage will be reducing the health to one. So it's an upside and a downside. I think it is a nerf because every order that deals at least three damage kills it now. Uh, but on the other hand, it is no longer reducing um, its attack if you attack with units into it. So if you can manage to buff it with we can do it, or as I said, with the unity of strengths, it can still be a very big threat because it's no longer using losing that two attack for each time it's receiving damage. Um, but as I said, a lot of or, or way more removal now to get rid of a California. And I think a lot of free to play players in the lower ranks will be really happy about seeing second California nerfed. Then we jump over to the next card is the Spitfire Mark 2A. Um, the deployment effect is getting changed. Now it gets plus two plus two if your opponent controls an air unit. Or if this is not the case, it gets fury. So you either have a 6-6 six, six Spitfire without fury or 4-4 four, four Spitfire with fury, depending on what your opponent's board state is. Uh, also a good change. It was a really strong card, especially when you combined it with Observer Core, for example. Um, and your opponent had an early uh, airplane on the on the board. It gave you just a 5-6 with Fury for 2k. Um, it can still be strong in that, but I think it's way... Not, not way weaker, but it is weaker. A 6-6 without Fury can help you a lot. Um, I think it's still better to get the Fury out of this, but... Yeah, I like this change in general. I, I think it was way too strong before i think it's still strong and playable afterwards but maybe no longer that strong then another important change here underground state a card that i think was strong straight when it came out but a lot of people did not really see it i think it was even stronger because you could could target your own units with it and a lot of people abused it um but i think this was just a bug but now the unit um, is no longer sent to hand, but it retreats. And that is also making the card way weaker. It was very popular in that US Poland Legion stack that we saw a lot in the OCC. And this change, I'm not sure if it will kill the card, but at least it will make it way weaker. I like it. Then the A20 Havoc is also getting changed but this is a buff i guess and deployment cost increased by one but it's now having blitz and on deployment your bombers operate for two less this turn so if you just deploy the havoc on turn four you can operate it for free since it is all bombers and havoc is a bomber and if you have additional bombers on the board they also just operate for, for two less 
um, B17, for example, still having one operation cost. So I'm not sure in which archetype this might fit. Maybe Brit Air with Barracuda, Swordfish, stuff like that. So maybe we see deck that put more bombers into the Brit Air decks. I don't know. The ability is cool. Four credits to get a 2-2 Blitz bomber. But I doubt that this card will be any meta changing. Maybe you can do some cool OTKs with it. Like if you have two of these and then some Burning Suns. Yeah, it can be cool. Next one, Black Widow. Black Widow, when it attacked, it just gave all your air units zero operation cost so they could operate for free. But now at the start of a turn, it gives a random friendly air unit immune this turn. So kind of the, what is that card called? This Japanese card, the Goshi Kisen, I guess. Um, so also if you just have Black Widow on the board, it would just give it itself, I guess, because it's just give a random unit and not give a random or give another random friendly air unit. Kind of in Goshi Kisen now. Um, little less attack, but it can also just give it to random, to another unit. I'm not sure if I like it too much. I don't think it will be super strong, but your opponent has to care about it. So it can be a good addition and kind of comparable with the Goshi Kisen in, in threat wise that you also always remove once it comes on the board. Otherwise, it's just so much value for your opponent. So I kind of like the value. Maybe I would have liked to see another ability here, just something else. Uh, but maybe they are just keeping their new abilities for, for new expansions here and just try to change cards with, with common things that they already have in the game. Then a very interesting one here, the 222nd. Very interesting concept. Turned out it was not really that great because it was just at the start of your turn. And when your turn started, mostly one of the two units, whether this one or the one that you pincered were dead. So you had nothing out of the pincer effect. But now they increased the deployment cost by two, lowered the attack and health by one, gave it guard. But now the pincer effect is triggering at the end of your turn. And that can make a huge difference. Just imagine your opponent or you, yourself is having Jürgen Stalin that got damaged already. Your opponent wants to finish off it next turn with an order. And then you just drop these, give the unit, heal the unit back and also give it guard or, or, or guard that unit. Um, I think the card is way more useful now, especially with the guard ability. But I guess nine credit might be a little bit too expensive to actually play it. But maybe we will see some play. Can be cool. Maybe with Germany with their untargetable units. So if you do this with a with a tiger, for example, heal it and then also guard it. Can be cool. But I. As I said, nine credits might be a little bit too expensive to make those fancy plays. Then we have just another change. I think it's just aiming to finally make Soviet air viable, giving the LA-5 one more health. Don't think it will change a lot, but yeah, we take it. Then the Yak-9 is also getting plus one attack here. If you compare it with the Black Widow that we just saw earlier, it has the same stats for same cost with another destruction effect. Um, yeah, we take it. I don't think this will change a lot, but I remember a time when Yak-9 was really, really popular in the matter. But I don't think this will change. This change will, will bring it back. Then we have a change to the Italian card here, the Maki, Maxi, Mashi. So all the Italians, comments in the chat, which one was the correct pronunciation here. <laughs> um, it got destroyed once your HQ has had left 
less defense than the enemy HQ. Um, now it just receives two damage when this is the case, so kind of survives a little bit longer now. You can even deploy it when you have less um, HQ health, so it's not getting destroyed instantly. It just gives you a 2 2 fighter then. I'm not sure which deck this might impact because there's not actually a deck where this is played. But maybe somebody will find a, a cool space for that card, but I don't expect it honestly. And the final one is the Fiat CR42, also an Italian airplane. Gets the deployment cost increased by one. Um, but now on deployment it gets plus one attack if you control more units than the enemy. So in the original version you could only deploy it if you could if you control more units. Now you can deploy it anyways uh, with the bonus that it gets plus one attack when you control more units. Can be it can be good in aggressive decks. A two two fighter for one credit and zero operation cost. That's very important. Can be strong. But yeah, I think it's comparable with the Maki. Um, I don't see this card being very popular. You would not build a deck with Italian ally just because of these two cards. Yeah, and that's it, guys. That has been the 10 cards. Let me know what you think about the changes. What do you like about the California change, for example? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, and then we hopefully see each other in the next stream. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Bye-bye.